What's going on everybody? This is Al from Instablay 06 Revival. And in the last video, we kicked off our season with a trip to Ann Arbor, Michigan to take on the Wolverines. And we played pretty much a flawless game. Perfect execution on both ends of the field. Or both sides of the ball. It's a good statement win. Head into the season. Hopefully we're going to try to defend our national title. But in order to get there, we still got a ton more games to play. And in this video, we're going to take on Tulane, one of our old Conference USA uh, rivals. Before we play them, let's go to recruiting. See if anything needs to be changed here. Going after Rashad Kane. All seems well there. Steve Arnold, I'm really excited about him. Hopefully we can snag him. He'll be a good fit for any offense I throw at him. We just need some talent at quarterback since we got so many seniors. Ryan Sears is no different. We're going to try to go after him. Uh, Rod Holloway, still looking good there. And Kurt Smith, middle linebacker, we're still good there. So don't need to make any changes. And if you notice, we're on the cover of Sports Illustrated again. We're finally starting to get in a trend with that. It took me, what, four seasons to finally make the cover. And now it's we'll probably be on the cover a third or fourth of the year as long as we keep on winning. Let's look at Tulane, see what they've got. Uh, they've already played one game. Looks like they're pretty good offensively, or uh, defensively, I should say, but I don't even know who they played. Don't know what they have. We'll look at that when we check out their roster, their depth chart. Let's see. Uh, quarterback had a good game in their first outing. Receivers, my guess is they're going to throw some. It's the way it appears, and I'm okay with that. Let's see how they handle my quarters coverage and some of my zone blitzes and other things. TG13 had an incredible game against Michigan. He had over 400-something yards, and I'll, I forgot to uh, – show the stats to you all at the end of the game at a halftime. I'll start getting in the habit of doing that. I'll just try not to forget. Yep, we'll get the ball first. I always like to set the tone. It's rainy. That's no fun. Okay, let's look at the roster. Quarterback, he can't run, but he can throw, I assume. 90-88, that's pretty good, yeah. Big guy, too. Bobby Weber, I'll do some throw some blitzes and some quarters at him. Uh, running backs, hodgepodge, their average. Receivers, that's probably where it's at. Conference, yeah, probably the best receiver in Conference USA. Tight end, nothing much there. Offensive line, 82, 70, 84, 74, 74, just average. I guess they're okay for their conference, though. Uh, defense, 78, 80 at the ends. Defensive tackle, 74, 74. 68, 82, 76 at linebacker. Pretty good middle linebacker. High impact guy. Corner, 72, 68. Yeah, they're just average everywhere, as expected. Just average at safety, kicker, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I'm just going to run my offense as usual. Try to get through this game with a solid win and not get anybody hurt. One thing I do want to do, and I should have done this, and I have to do it outside of the uh, game, is uh, I was going to change one audible to, uh, we'll just do, since I've been running a little more run and shoot, I'm going to do halfback direct right here. That's my one run and play in my run and shoot. Um, you'll get to see some of that today. And if you watched the Michigan game, you saw some of how I like to use it in it. Okay, let's just start off with, uh, let's do QB choice. Try to get Hatchell going. They're going man, going 5-2. I'm going to go take a chance. I'm just going to motion my tight end over, just get extra blocking. Yeah, get Hatchel going here. Really good collisions in this game. And that 
Good play there. I'm on the left hash. We can uh, maybe try some PA read. Let's do it out of normal. Going man, 5-2 again. I'll probably throw it. Oh, safety's coming up. Go over the top to Mendoza. Good catch. He had to slow up a little bit there, but he was able to get the grab. Okay, I'm here, so let's go trips over. Let's do a halfback screen. Going zone. Let's see if I can. Let's move McDowell over just to distract that corner. Good throw. There we go. Ah, 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 junk. Nice yeah, we still got a good gain out of it. Got the first down. Let's just give it back to Hatchell, get the touchdown here. We'll go with a basic toss. I'm going to go to the left. I think they're going zone. So we'll motion Mendoza over. Give the touchdown. Nice, clean, quick possession there for six points. Get the extra point here and get back or get on defense and see what we can do there. I'm curious to see how their uh, passing attack will go against my defense. If we can put pressure on the quarterback, we should be fine. Especially if I just send my front four. Decent kick. He'll return it though. Taylor fields it in the end zone. A little juice. Somebody get a stop if possible. There we go. Let's see. My, I guess they'll spread it out. Yeah. Let's just do quarters out of four or three since I don't have the nickel like I used to last season with Robinson. Oh, well, that was a good move. This may stop him. That could be disastrous. I hate when their halfback draws out of the gun work a whole lot better than mine. I've tried to make it work, but maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. I'll have to practice on it, I guess. Because I'd love to run halfback draw on my run and shoot. That's the technical go to run play in the run and shoot. Just a bad throw. I guess they'll go four wide all day, won't they? Might not see much blitzing. It's hard to blitz against a four wide because they force you to spread out more. Ooh, good, got a hand on it, but bowling. Now it's third, they're going five wide. Let's just try our cloud. See how he handles it. I'll shift him over. See if that makes a difference. There we go. Great stop. He ain't going to get past heel. Forced to punt the ball, get the ball back. See if we can get something going here. And a high snap. Looks like I'll do something on the right here. McDowell takes it to 15. Oh. They're ready to start another drive. But I had a bit of a crease there, I guess not. The the last one, which ended in a touchdown. Let's try. Let's go with some go. They'll start this drive at the 27. They're going for or going dime, so I may audible into a halfback direct and see if I could just find a crease up the middle. Like so. Like I said in my last video. I use the halfback direct, and I'll just try to keep it in between the tackles. Don't use the speed button and just pick up some good gains across the middle. Uh, okay, let's do wide receiver under. Going nickel zone. So what I'll do is I'm going to motion gains over. Good throw. 
pick up the first. I'm going to stay and spread, and let's do a PA read. They're going dime, so I'll probably just run it. They're not going to shift or anything, so. Middle linebacker got picked up there. Got the first. Now let's go with, uh, we're going to do a screen the gains. Let him have a touch. They're going man 4-3. I'm still going to throw it to him. Ooh, not going to now. I'm just going to dump it off to Mendoza. We'll hot route him. Let him make the play and try to get the touchdown. Yeah. That's just too obvious. Everybody and their brother was shifting over to the screen, including both safeties. So just made sense to go over the top of Mendoza. Great throw. One-on-one, Mendoza, he's just too talented. I'll try to get the ball to Gaines on the next. Well, he did get a catch earlier uh, on one play. We'll try to go back to that screen to him maybe in the next possession. Get back on defense. Really good kick. He's still going to take it out, though. Taylor fields it in the end zone. Good stop there. Already got 155 yards of offense. <laughs> Ridiculous. Uh, I'll just do quarters for now. I don't think they're going to have any atta attached tight end in this offense. Pretty much like the Al raid. Make a play, somebody. Well, that's just a good throw. That's face mask, too. Yeah. That's what I thought it was, five yards. We'll just stick with quarters. Going with a bunch formation. And a halfback direct. Gonna stop there. Now I'm going to attempt. They got, apparently going to have a tight, a tight end out there, so I'm going to throw Second a blitz up here. on him. Yeah. Let's see if I can get around the edge here with heel. There we go. He's just way too fast. Left tackle didn't have a chance. Well, no, I mean the halfback didn't have a chance. That's why I like to have speed at my linebacker position, especially on the outside, to get to those edges. We'll go to our cloud, our normal third down play. Good play. Got out of bounds, though. Whew. Thankfully, there's one-on-one -on -one situation there. All right, let's get the ball back. See if McDowell can do something here. See if I can do some damage on the left. Yeah, got a few yards. Okay, I'm gonna go back to that play again. I have a going man. Let's see if they shift over again like last time. I had no choice. Both safeties came up. Everybody was shifting. Just got to go over the top. Okay, let's go here. Let's run a basic uh, QB choice. We're going to flip it this time. We'll go to the right. We're going zone. Let's go ahead. Pick up a couple yards, not a whole lot there. Let's run speed option. Out of spread, they're going zone, nickel. I'll probably just go to the left to get away from that impact linebacker. Didn't get a whole lot there. I may do another speed option here, but this time we'll do it out of normal. 
Going with 5-2, so I like my chances here as long as my line holds up. We'll just go to the right. There we go. Yeah, get some room going. Couldn't stay in bounds. That's all right. We'll pick up the first. I'm on the 29. So I'm going to go here. Let's run our uh, smash, smash and switch, per se. Play. Out of spread. They're going and dime. Man, I'll probably just audible to halfback direct again. No reason not to. There are oh. Yeah. Wide receivers got a good block in there. Okay, I'm on the 15, so let's – I'm going to stay here. Let's do deep attack. They're going zone. Get six-man protection. I'm going to bring McDowell over. Woo! That was close. I threw it a little too late. He still is able to – Get some yardage out of it. And that's the end of the first quarter. Smooth sailing so far. I'm on the seven, so all I'm going to do is go to two-back slot, and we're going to run basic triple. They're going 4-3, and I will probably just do that. Yeah. Get TG-13 a running touchdown there. He's playing great. Heisman candidate. Him and his teammate, Hatchell. I think both of them could be on the top of the list if we keep playing like we have been. A lot of it's touchdown base, and he's already got, what, three or two touchdowns today on top of however many he had last week. At least one of them will be on the Heisman top five list, I would think. My guess will probably be Hatchell. I'd like to see TG13 there as well. That'd be cool. All right, let's get back on defense. Good kick. He'll probably return it. Yep. Stewart field to the goal line. Good stop there. I'm gonna attempt to blitz. Good stop there. Got some penetration on the left side there. I'm going to do an, another blitz. I don't think they can handle it. Just put this right tackle in the bind here. I think that's a good play call against my blitz. Gone. Nope. Can't. Yep. Fumble. I'm glad I stuck with it. <laughs> That's what you do. You just stick with it. Had to go all the way around the field. I'm glad I didn't quit on that thing. Okay, turnover. That means we need to do play action here. Let's uh, we'll go here. And we'll go uh, PA Reed out of trips over. They're going zone nickel, so I may just hand it off. Hatchel. Pick up about four. four yards on the play. I'm going to stick and trips over. We'll run basic speed option. Second Going zone, go. nickel. Ball on the 45 yard line. They're shifting that way. I'll move McDowell over. Keep that corner on tight enough. Good block there by McDowell. I'm glad I motioned him over. Pick up the first. I'm on the 27. Let's go, uh, let's do curls. This is basically a slide, or not slide, uh, yeah. They're going dime on me, though. I'm going to go to my direct here. There we go. Get a blocker. We'll look at that blocking. Ah, love it. Now imagine if Hatch will wait about an extra 20, 30 pounds. He could just bulldoze over everybody. Okay, I'm on the nine. Let's, uh... Let's just do QB choice from here. Shifting hard that way. They're going zone, though. 
I'll just hand it off to Hatch and let him make the play. Had a cut up field. Had containment on the left. And I'm on the four, so might as well just do our basic toss. We're going man. So I think I may just go to the right here. Pick up the touchdown. Easy peasy. I can already tell the second half is going to be a scrimmage mode, practice mode, where I can play around with a little more of some running shoots and flex bone and whatever floats in my boat at the time. Get a swig of water here. I don't think we've had one negative play yet on offense. This will be returned as well. Stewart fields it at the two. Good stop. We might see two hands on the ball after their last run. They're going to stick them three wide, so I'm going to keep blitzing. They come out with three wide receivers. Going under center this time. I guess they're out of a slot. Yep. Two A. Yeah, they just that play action. I mean. Gonna have to protect a whole lot better to have a chance with me on that. Okay, now they're going five wide. Let's do nickel and let's do quarters. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 15. Weber drops the throw. Good stop there by bowling. Six yards that time on the pass play. And we'll go to Cloud. Third and long. That's our goal on defense. Get him in third and long situations. I'm going to go on the strong side this time. Sack. Smith. Both him and Van. Just two terrors on the outside. All right, they're going to punt it. We're going to get the ball back and keep our offense a-clicking. Tulane, ready to put this one away. He gets it off. McDonald's Better fair catch that catch. one. He'll and knock my head off if I don't. The 43 yard line. The offense comes out on the field once again. Okay, I'm on close to the right hash. So let's just run a basic to screen. Because they sure couldn't stop to the right. Going 4 3 man. I'll just take over at the 43. I'll just dump it off to him. With three wide receivers. And here's a quick throw. Complete. That's good defense there. That corner was able to get penetration. Let's go back to wide receiver under. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 43. They're going man, but they're blitzing both inside guys. So let's get six man protection. I'm gonna leave it as such. Across the middle. McDowell had one of one on the left. That's a great killer route against man. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed in the middle of the field. Let's. I'm gonna attempt to draw. First and ten. Ball it's nickels. I don't know if this will work out or not. Central I just don't have well my Say, yeah, I just, man, I'm not a big fan of the draw play out of the gun. Let's run basic speed. So it's second and ten. Going man, 4-3. He's coming that way. That's a nice run. Right. Get out of the way. Oh, is he going to get in? TG-13, huge boy. Got to love it. Got to love it. Just great blocking everywhere. Nice little juke. Good block in the back by Mendoza. <laughs> they didn't call it. Yeah, none of my first string will play the second half. There's just no need for it. I got... A couple big games come up with uh, Alabama, and I think Georgia's right behind them. I think that's the game right after them. I'm not Central sure. Florida, I don't remember. Central Florida, the kick. That may be the last drive for my first turn. We'll see. I'll let them try to – I'll let them finish out the half. 
See if I can stop Stewart, him one more time. To the yeah, just know where to go. Three wide. Let's do basic quarters out of four three. Giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. The wave set up in the gun. Weber to the air on first down. Got a hand on it. TG13, 23-3 and three in his career, not too shabby. And they're going five, but I'll stick with four three. They got enough speed on the linebackers to stick with them, I think. Ooh, almost intercepted. He's asking to get picked off. That was a close one. Uh, right. I'll just stick with Cloud no if they're struggling against it. With it in and to I was going to blitz, but on the ground. I don't think I'll need to. to the line with three wide. One off tackle. Great. With a takedown. Tackle the there. Play gets him four yards. He's able to get off his block. Now they're probably. They're probably not going to call a timeout here. They're probably going to milk it. So I'm going to call a timeout. I didn't think about that. Yeah. I guess they was going to milk the clock. That would have gave me like 40 seconds to try to get down the field. Might as well have an extra 20 or so to work with. He punts it. Good play here. Let's. I'll try to. It's not a whole lot to work with. And now we'll see the offense come Okay, out of the I got about a minute to get down the field. Let's see if I can do it. Let's start off with back circle. We haven't used it right. yet. They'll start this drive. Going zone 4 3. Let's we'll see what opens yeah, up here. From the shotgun. Down the middle. Dale across the middle. Nice Had a crease. A little hole opened up there. Let's go. Let's do smash. Going zone dime. I would run it, but I got to throw it. So. Hey, I hit the wrong button. Junk. <laughs> I done an audible instead of a hot route. So let's try this again. Had a waste of timeout. Okay, but going dime, man. I'll probably stick with Hatchell running his route just in case. Central floor. Going cover one. Looking. He rolls out to the right. Deep pass. Let's see if my right cover side. one beater can make the play. Oh, unreal. Love it. That's my cover one beater. I had to get out of the pocket. I was fixed to get sacked. Right there, my left tackle got destroyed. I had to make a break for it by my cover one beater. Hill True and TG13 is just putting on a clinic. I'm gonna go ahead and just take out the first string before I forget. The entire first string. The Golden Knights are lining up to punt it away. Get the extra point. And he hits the PAT. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive somewhere. So the second half may be somewhat boring. I know it just depends on the type of person you are. You may enjoy watching me experiment on the back end if I have blowouts. Stewart fields it in the end. Continue to play around with some other plays. This defense did a good job on the last series. I guess that's a nice goal to have as a as a team. To have blowouts where you can play around with some things in the second half. That's a good throw. And down he goes. Call a timeout. Man, I got 17 first downs in the first half. That's that's incredible. 402 yards of offense, first half. That reminds me, I'll, I'll go at halftime and we'll look at the stats. I just got to get in the habit of doing so. Somebody on YouTube requested that, and I think that's a good idea. Intercepted. He was right there and he could the defense really missed a golden opportunity. Let's stick with quarters. Keep it good kosher. Great players. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Tulane lines up in the shotgun set. Drops back to pass. And he's looking with the throw. Got now, good catch. Don't call timeout. I'll just 
first two quarters, 4-3. It's third down and three to go. Ball on their own 43. My outside linebacker is going to have a lot of work to do, but out. that's okay. I'm going to blitz. I'm going to see. I don't have anybody to really be out doing some up in the pocket. Looking. Fires. Crap, he that was my fault. I should have let him just do his thing. They went for the home run and the I shouldn't have controlled him. As soon as I controlled the guy, he stopped a little. That was a good throw, too. No biggie. And he tacks on the extra point. That's the only now weakness of any zone and defense and score, is Florida, if you can get over 42, the top, Tulane, seven. your Anderson, defender is not going to go directly man to man against him. I mean, it'll be one on one situation, but it's not like him uh, playing man to man. And takes it from the six. Yeah. The quarterback can withstand the pressure. That's how you can beat man over the top. Okay, we're here, so let's go here. I really don't have the depth to run a whole lot of run and shoot here. They're going man. Martin Day lines up in the shotgun. I'll motion him over, but I think they're going to. Martin yeah, that's what I thought. Let McDowell make a play here. It's kind of a floater. Yeah, took way too long. Too much of a floater. I'm going to do curls, but I'm going to do it on the right hash, and I'll show you why. You see they're going nickel, and McDowell's kind of wide open. I'm going to throw it as hard as I can to him. And a high snap. And it still worked. But if you're going up against nickel, or if a linebacker has to move over, or a safety has to move over to defend that slot, that's a great play to just a quick out. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna call a timeout. I thought uh, he didn't get out of bounds. Uh, we'll go offensive line, doesn't really matter. We'll do Hail Mary and we'll do. That uh, doesn't really matter. We'll do this Hail Mary. I have a six man protection. We're going zone. The Golden Knight. I'm just gonna motion him over. On this play. Mark to the air on first down. He's looking deep Let's see if either one of them can make a play. Yeah, that's great defense. Got a hand on it. And it's been total dominant. All righty. Now let's go to the stats. Uh, just outlandish discrepancy there. Rushing, 185 yards of, all, of rushing. 11 of 13, TG 13 went, or, yeah, he might have went 10 for 12 there. We'll look at the individual stuff here in a minute. Passing yards out of this world. Third down conversion, that's a biggie. Uh, total, nothing really stands out there. I did have that one face mask. I really don't care about time of possession. That's all, I don't know. That's A lot of people have different opinions on that. Uh, 10 for 10, TG 13. Pretty much had the perfect game, as you can tell by his QB rating. 217 yards, two touchdowns. If you look at the rushing, he had two rushing touchdowns. 72 yards, just incredible. Hatchell, of course, done his thing, and I had a little more distribution than I expected. I hate to see Gaines not get the ball as much, but that's just sort of the way the offense kind of worked out today. And everything else, defense, I don't know. We can look that stuff at the end of the game, I guess. The big thing is, I guess, is the, is the team stats and certain individual stats are worth looking at. Otherwise, I'm not going to go break down every little Stewart stat there is. The four, really no need right for it. This could be a face, face mask, mask. again, I saw goal. that one. Yep. He got caught grabbing at the face mask. Five yard penalty. Yep, I'm going to attempt right a blitz. And let it go right away. They'll set up shot at the 30 yard line. One man back for you. See if Stratton can do something on the edge here. Hopefully they don't run the ball to the right or right up the gut. Yeah, it didn't have a chance. Play action. The quarterback had nowhere to go against the blitz. Couldn't even make his full motion before getting sacked. All right, let's run quarters. Weber is back in the gun. 
He dropped back. Throw short. And it falls in Good throw. He was just out of bounds. An incompletion. It's too bad okay, the uh, super elder nickel yeah, coach, fly out. I don't think I have the circus catch. I want yeah, my depth that corner's not terrible. Four wide. Let's go up the gut here with my lineman. Maybe Weber set to go to the air. penetration. Brooks. They're going deep He's attack on me. Woo! Thank the Lord he dropped, didn't catch it. He was open. Not the best throw in the world. Again, my safety was in one-on-one -on -one, uh, situation. Most safeties aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one situations. Let's see if I can make a move on the left here. McDowell. Okay, we can run some flex bone now. We can run basic triple counter. We're going zone. But until he shows up, they'll continue to play from behind. We'll run to the yeah, right. I was expecting to hear his name called a lot more than the first half. Too, That's great defense. They plugged up every hole they needed to. It is in on every play. But we haven't seen we'll that stay today. here. Let's run basic fullback option. Second and 12 coming up here. We're going zone. I'm going to run some clock. I'm going to run to the weak side just to throw him off there. I'll act like I'm motioning. I could do this. Bring that guy. Good block. Good block. Good block. Got some yardage there. Not a whole lot. Uh, let's go. We'll run cross. We'll flip it this time. We're going dime on me. Ball on the 45-yard line. And what I can do is do this. It looks like both safeties are coming, so this may not work out so well. Yeah, gonna have to. I don't think I got it. Fourth and one. I'm gonna go for it. Might as well just kind of keep this thing going. Didn't get out of bounds. Yeah, we'll just run to the left. Oh, that's, that's a good block there. On the option left side. Just dive. I wish he had a quarterback slide, but I can never find it in this game unless I'm doing something wrong. I'm tell you why. It looked like that play was going nowhere, but this quarterback made the right choice by holding on. Go back to flex bone, run triple. Good heads up play there by the Going man. We'll run to the left. Run a little clock. I'll just keep him there. No reason to put him back in his spot and bring him over again. Martin. Not much up the gut. Just pitch it off. Pick up the yardage. And they were lucky that one didn't go for more. No question. And they were not ready for that. Now I can go here. Let's that's pure switch. Let's don't really need it yet. Let's do deep attack on the left side. Going nickel. And this is the sixth play of the drive. If they go cover two, I can give it to Carey. If not, I'll give it to McDowell. I could give it to one of my go routes. Uh, yeah, cover two. Let's see if he can make the throw. Great throw. Right where it needed to be. So that's choice in the run and shoot. Two outside goes with your option rad is technically you have post rad, but we don't have option rads in this game, so you kind of have to work with it. With the underneath uh, basic uh, dig. Going zone, so we'll just run our basic toss. Come out in the ace formation. Motion him over. Good hit. Pick up the touchdown. So he was able to shave off some time. I'll still get six points. Play a little run and shoot, a little flex bone. There is an offense out there called the triple shoot, which is a true mix of both flex bone and uh, run and shoot. It's kind of hard to do in this game. You just got to have a quarterback that can do everything. And you're, the reason why I'm not a big fan of that offense is because in the run and shoot, your receivers have a distinct responsibility. 
Taylor fields it in the end zone. In the flex bone, your receivers have a completely different set of responsibilities. Your running backs are completely opposite. It's just your personnel doesn't match well between both offenses. Which is why I suggest if you go with either one, just stick with one or the other and try not to mix them up too much. Now, I'm saying that and you're seeing me here mixing up both of them, but I'm not really mixing them up. I mean, I'm, in, I'm using my second string to do different things. And I don't know, it's up to you. You do what you want. I think you'll have more fun out of it if you really stick with one of the offense and just really max it out. That and your, like I said, your recruiting will be much easier. You'll know exactly what you got to go after. All right, Nickel, we'll just run Cloud. Her first string still in there. They're still trying to make a game out of it. They're going four wide here. Ooh, almost got intercepted. That's good coverage there. This is their like eighth punt on the game. Ooh, that could have been blocked. Better fair catch this one. All righty, uh, I'm on the right hash, so I have my smash play on my mind. They're going nickel. We'll do six man protection. Going cover one, so I'll go to my cover. Ah, that ain't good. Ooh, I got hit so as soon as I threw it. Protection just wasn't where it needed to be. Let's try. Curls, slot seams. Let's go back to under again. We're going zone. Martindale has four receivers lined up here. Going Nick off could run it, but I'm not going to. Oh, you got to catch that. Got to catch it. Third and ten. We can try uh, switch. You already have six man protection. They're going zone nickel. Let's just see what they call here. The Ooh, that was close. Almost got intercepted. Had a couple choices there by my left tackle. Absolutely got hammered. Look at that. Just didn't have a chance. If he had held his block, I had this guy back here. We'll go here. My, my wheel route on the short side against cover two. Pew, wide open. So I could have went to either one. I probably should have went to him instead of to the post route, but eh, at any rate, we'll punt it. The Golden Knight are lining up to punt it away. Eh, not the best punt. Gets it off. At least he won't return it. And it's out of bounds at the 16. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this. A little attempt to blitz here. Somebody stop him. Ah, John. Pick up the first. And it looks like there's an injury down there. And the quarterback's hurt. Going five wide, I'll just do quarters. First and ten. Ball on their own 29. The wave. Line up with five receivers. Oh, wow, how in the world did he catch that? I got my hand up and everything. Didn't make a difference. And he just strained his, his pick. He'll be all right. He's valuable to this football team, Kirk. He's a big-time college football player. Picked up about five yards there. Six yards. I'll just stick with quarters. It's second down and four to go. He'll keep doing underneath stuff. Can't blame him. He drops back. He steps up. He passes it. Complete tackle. Good stop there by Stratton. 
Now it's third and two. I'm gonna blitz. Maybe they'll go play action here. Coming up here. Ball the 47. They shift on the defensive line. Hopefully they won't go right up the gut. Yeah, right up the gut. Pick up the first. I'm gonna stick with the same play. I'm go up the gap here. See if one of my other guys can. Ooh, thank the Lord he dropped it. Nice pass, just wasn't caught. And when you're a tight end, you usually don't get too many passes. All right, into the third. Just gotta play this one out. Get this quarter over with and so head on to this is a bigger, play. better things. Like I said, I think we we'll play Alabama next. I think we got a bye week and then the Crimson Tide. I could be wrong though. He's looking. He's going right. The ball is got a hand on it there. Defensively that time I was going to attempt to try to intercept it, but figure out to play it safe. So another third down upcoming for the offense. The way set up in the gun. Look at my backups. Just incredible. That's what recruiting will do for you. Steps up. Got hit as he threw. Oh, that ain't good. Yeah. He was like on two on one. So he was outnumbered technically. That's just a good play by number two. He's a pretty good receiver. He's already got like, what, 130 something yards? Yeah. We'll just do quarters. And the man at wide out My second string would have a much tougher time against this bunch. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. They'll bring him down. Four yards gain. Now I guess they'll go goal line. I don't know they're gonna go here. So I'll attempt to blitz. I don't think it'll really make a difference. They'll probably score. They spread out All the momentum defense in the world's in their man, favor. I like this call. Spreading out the defense near the goal line. Good call. The ball again. Good penetration the there. Loss of about two. I'm going to stick with the same play. One man backfield. I'm going to stay up the gut, though, just in case they try to go up the middle. Steps up in the pocket. He's got all the time in the world to throw. Fumble! Somebody pick it up. Oliver brings him down for a loss. The He'll go for it, I guess. Uh, four wide. Yeah. Right there. Uh, you can bet he holds on to the let's ball. Let's do cloud. <laughs> Next time he gets it. I don't know how much this will help, but and they have three just back everybody up and see if he can find a, a tight window to throw into. It's going to be hard. He drops back. Brooks. He steps up, throws it to the outside. Just a bad throw. Too much pressure. Again, coach. This defense hasn't let up at all. Now I'm on the eight. Let's just run triple. Going man for a three. I'll probably kick the outside unless there's a hole up the middle. The guys out of the end which zone. there may be one. We'll see. Nope. Well, again, that's just great play by that defense. The 24. Run by the running back. Now let's run basic dive. Second and three. Going man, 5-2. This may be difficult. We'll see. They're lining up in the 5-2. Yeah, I'll go right. Run a little clock first. Go ahead. Ball yeah, just Bring nothing there. Just a yard there. One yard gain on the board. Let's go here. Let's run basic curls. They're going Ball dime, man. I may just run it. See, my run and shoot, I'd have a left-handed run play and a right-handed run play. In this case, he'll shift this way. Crap. That's just great defense. Probably should have advanced to the outside. I'm going to run it, though. Just run clock. It's fourth down. This may be a stupid idea, but I think I can get the first. The Golden Knights line up with three wide. I'll just run to the left and try to pick it up. This is what Mike Leach would do. <laughs> he don't mind doing stuff like this. Here's the there we go. Just pick up the first. I didn't mean to fake pitch it there. 
They go with the option and pick up the first down. And that was just good That's first, though. You have to know when to pitch it or when to keep it. Yeah, and in that situation, the quarterback knew he could pick up the first. Now so let's go here. Very good decision. Let's uh, run go. We'll flip it's it this time. They're going man. This is the fifth play going the dime. Martin Day calls an audible. Martin Day to the air on first down. Good throw there. He ran a good it went too high safety, so I just went to my man beater. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense. It can open now let's run some choice. Second and three coming Going up. zone. This is the sixth play of this drive. Nickel. Martindale lines up in the shotgun. Get six-man protection. I want to motion McDowell over. And I'll go to either him or Carey, just depending on what the defense gives me. Martindale. Good throw. Had a little bit of a hole and down the middle. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. Now we can go with. Two, it'll be a first down rolls. nine out of ten times. We'll try our uh, smash again. They're going. This is the seventh play of the current drive. Dime, so I can go yeah, here. In their dime package. Now both safeties are coming up. And they make the stop. And that was a nice now I can. Kirk, that was a great job by that big I don't know if this line. will work or yeah, not. I don't really know which play it'll go to. Yeah, it's going to go to that one. Nice That's what I thought. To find that running line. When you it's called like call that, timeout. You I didn't know if he would go to my audible play or to the original play call, but it would go to the original play call, which actually kind of gives me an idea of, hey, you can still stick with that particular play. Hmm. That's something to think about. Just a minute remains. In like it say game. right now, it's dime. You love that they're in dime, and I can audible to well, my direct Lines play. And if you get good gains, you can hurry up back to the line, and the call it again. Uh, as such. Okay. Now I know they're going to be a dime if I keep it. We'll go no huddle. But I'd have to audible again. Say, oh, now they're four three. But look what happens. Four receivers lined up here. They got their two inside corners. Yeah, I'm just not a big fan of that. He's looking. He's going right. And it's incomplete. Another reason why no huddle is probably not all that fun because the defensive AI just doesn't know how to handle it. And you don't want to stop the clock. Food for thought. Something to think about. Okay, I'm going to do wide receiver under. This isn't technically a run and shoot play, but it's a good play nonetheless out of this formation. Martin changes the play. Going zone. I'm going to motion him over. Looking, wants to throw outside. Good throw, picked up by five. About six yards. Six on that yards. Completion. Now we can go back to choice. Have a look at our old spice. Red zone, zone nickel. Number. Red zone, when performance matters the most. Central Florida right. sets up with four Get six receivers. man protection. Martin Dale drops to throw. Look. Across Get the middle. Up. Six points. Run and shoot. That's all it is right there. Love it. We can break down that play. There were zone. I, I motioned over McDowell to run a basic dig underneath to uh, distract the linebackers, just depending on what they was going to do. But I had the post. They was going cover two, as you can tell. Now, I'm at the 20-yard line. I think that's where the ball was snapped. That's about as far as you want to go if you want to try to run this particular play. He was wide open. Actually, wasn't the best throw in the world. He had to come back towards it. He didn't kick him in stride, but still got the six points. And technically, the two go routes are good against a zone if they are cover two. If it's cover two, that's just a killer play to run. But it's good against cover three. Against man, that's it's just Tulane great. Here in the ball game. Plenty of options. All right, let's try to wrap this game up here. Kicks it deep. Probably take it out. No, he's gonna take a Their last drive ended when they decided to try to run a couple plays here. Turned away by the defense. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. And they have three receivers bunched. 
Into the air on first down. He's looking. Here comes the pressure. Wants to throw Had way too much time to throw. Over Thankfully, he just a bad throw. Took a TG-13. Completed Had a flawless first half. Than throwing the ball 100 miles an hour. That's true. He just needs to put a little bit more touch on that. It's hard for a quarterback to win a Heisman. I mean, if if it's your team, it's hard for your quarterback to win it. And they bring him down for a if you bench your first string in several games. I mean, he's got to put a lot, a lot of numbers. Got to be on the field a whole lot to do so. And I'm just not going to force him out there just to rack up the numbers to try to win, get him the Heisman. It's just not worth it. I'm here to – I care more about the championships. And again, our final score in this one, Central Florida, 56, Tulane, 7. Let's go to the stats, the team stats. Uh, 576 total yards of offense. Yet another reason why, you know, I use five-minute quarters – Almost 600 yards of offense. That's plenty of yards. That's realistic yards for a great offense compared to real life. Five minutes is all you really need in this game to do that. Rushing yards, killer, passing yards. Look at the balance. I didn't mean to do this. It, that's just the way it came out. 283, 293. Six sacks to my none. I'm very good in the pocket. Third down and went downhill in the second half. That's expected. Red zone, five for five. Turnovers, that helps. Uh, let's see, total yards, blah, blah, blah. They punted six times, had to do it once. Time of possession was in our favor. Of course, we milked clock in the second half. And what's it look? Like I said, TG13 had a great first half. Martindale came in and ran basically run and shoot in the second half. Was able to get a touchdown out of it. Rushing. A little bit of everybody got a hand on the ball today on the ground. Receiving, was that, eight players? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven guys got to touch the ball through the air. It's not too bad in defense. Tackles were all over the place. Look at that. Look at all the tackles. That's incredible. All righty. That wraps up that game. We'll look at the schedule real quick, and then I'll let you go. I'm quite positive we'll play Alabama next. If we got a bye week, I'll sim that. You won't have to bother looking at it. And I'll update you if I had to make any recruiting changes. Uh, yes, we do play Alabama. I'll do the bye week, and then the next video will uh, take on the Crimson Tide. They've already lost the game. So come on back. We'll start SEC play and make another run at our third straight SEC title. And... Hopefully our second straight national title. So come on back, and I'll talk to you later.